Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hi guys, welcome to video number 11, part 3 for the Canon EOS 5D Mark II tutorials. And in this video, we're going to have a look at custom function number 3, helps if I can talk, autofocus and drive. So, in the autofocus and drive section, um, we have a few custom functions. I'll just go back to the beginning there. Um, the first one is lens drive when AF impossible. Um, you can either set it to continue to hunt um, to find, find focus, so the lens continues to hunt, move, trying to lock focus, or to not bother. Um, instances where you may find the camera can't focus is in low light, um, and scenes where there's no contrast, or scenes where it's just a plain, flat um, scene or surface, i.e. a basic white wall. You're not really going to be able to lock focus onto a white wall, um, unless there's any marks on there or areas of contrast for the camera to lock onto. Because uh, the autofocus on these things thrives on contrast. Uh, and actually the autofocus on the 5D2 thrives on a lot of light to work. But well, anyway. Um, number two, um, lens AF stop button function. Um, you can customise it to start AF, um, auto exposure lock, AF point manual to auto and auto controlled, one shot to AI servo, or, of course, IS start there. Um, the Largely this is irrelevant for the majority of people, and the reason why I say this is because it's a button which is on only a certain number of lenses. Um, some of the more high-end telephoto lenses, um, we're talking the big, 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 big lenses here, and the, the Pro 400, 600 mils, um, they have such a feature where you can change what that button does, it's an added button on the actual lens body itself um, and not on the camera, so it's needless to say I don't use that, none of my lenses um, have that button on them. So we'll go to the next section, um, autofocus point selection method. Now you can have it set to normal and what we'll do is if we go to the quick menu here and we go to select the autofocus point we can use the quick dial or the jog joystick there if we wish um, to select the AF point or we can cycle through using any of these buttons on the body of the camera. <coughs> Excuse me. Now if we change that um, to a different setting, multi-controller direct, that now means that the multi-controller um, is you're not, you're not going to be able to see it on the screen here, it's more through the viewfinder, will react to wherever you push it to change the focus point to. So it's always active. Um, you may want to use that if you're changing autofocus points a lot on the fly. Um, I personally don't bother. Um, I tend to press the autofocus point selection button up here and then move um, because I shoot more static subjects. I don't shoot anything that's moving that often and um, so I keep it on the normal mode myself. The other option that was there, and if we go back, whoops, I'm past it, was quick control dial direct. Okay. And on this one here, I remember whether we can see it. No, again, it's going to be the quick control dial here that will allow us to cycle through those also focus points. Um, and again, it's always there, always active, to prevent us having to press the AF um, focus point selection button there. Um, so it could save you some time, potentially. It um, just depends on how and what you shoot, really. So we'll go back into the menu. I'm going to set that back to normal. And we'll go to the next one. Super Imposed Display. Now, on this one, we can either have the red autofocus confirmation lights on or off. Um, I prefer to have these on so I can see which AF point is selected and in use um, and just to make sure I've not accidentally moved to one of the very outer ones because they are terrible, at least on this particular body and um, I tend to stay away from those. 
So you can either have that on or off, really. And um, you still can have, you will still get the confirmation beep on the focus and the green dot in the far right corner, or bottom corner, should I say, um, of the viewfinder display as well. Uh, but it's just those little highlights and the red lights that light up, and um, you can have them on or not. AF assist being firing now. This is only going to be. Um, when you have a speed light on there, maybe a third party one, but more often it will be a Canon 430, 430 EX2, 580, 580 EX2, or maybe a 600 EXRT on there as well. The STE2, I think it was called, Commander, which was the line of sight infrared signal um, that you would put on there, has a built in AF assist beam. Um, so that would fire um, if this was enabled and the camera felt the need where it needs AF assistance because there's not enough light, not enough contrast. So you usually get a little grid pattern of red red lasers, if you will, to give the camera a contrast um, or an element of contrast to lock focus onto. Number six here, mirror lock up. Now, um, largely this will be disabled on my camera because it's rare that I use a tripod other than for you know, the lights of video work really. I don't like shooting on tripods at all. Um, not a fan of them, and um, so it tends to be disabled. Now, when you're shooting on a tripod, it's recommended in most cases to use image stabilization switch in the switched off position. Okay, and mirror lock up as well, um, because it locks the mirror up and pre prevents that mechanical action of the mirror. At mirror slap from causing vibrations and reducing sharpness in an image, especially if you're doing, say, landscapes or long exposures. Um, so I would certainly use it then, um, because then you go into a tripod because you're doing a long exposure. Uh, um, but otherwise, it tends to stay um, disabled. Everybody knows, I think, now that the 5D2's mirror is very aggressive. It's very noisy, very loud. Um, I actually like it because I like the sound of the shutter of it, but it it can be a problem when you're hand holding at slower shutter speeds and um, because of that aggressive mirror and um, so I may on occasions turn that on okay AF point area expansion now the 5D Mark II has nine autofocus points um, only one of them is any good really and um, because it's the center one which is the cross type um, down to f2.8 or below the rest are not cross type and they need a lot of light to work. Um, studio lights with modeling lights help a lot um, when you're in studio with this camera. If you're using speed lights, you're going to struggle, especially if you've got to turn the overhead lights off. Um, but it does have AF point area expansion, which are six hidden AF points around the center one, which can help when you're using um, AI servo or continuous autofocus trying to track a moving subject. Um, the AF on the 5D2 sucks quite frankly so it's not really something for fast action um, but it's there that you know to help um, along really it's a landscape it's a studio camera you know for portraits people have used them a lot in weddings of course over the years um, and it does a very very good job at that autofocus has always been its weak point I must admit so we'll go to the last um, part of this an AF micro adjustment now not all cameras have this. The lower end Canon Rebels or the T1i, T2i, uh, 500D, 600D, things like that, they tend not to have this, or at least it's not there in the firmware. Um, you can adjust your autofocus uh, by micro adjustment. So if you have a lens which, for, which front focuses or back focuses from, in compared to where you lock the focus on, um, so it's never really locked on tack sharp, you can adjust it by taking it to minus or plus setting and um, to adjust accordingly you can do it using measuring tools um, a ruler some piece of paper on a table however I calibrate mine and um, using a piece of software called Focal I'll do a video on that probably on my other channel at some point and most of my lenses have had to have some micro adjustment on this particular body um, it will differ body to body lens to lens you buy 150mm from one shop another 50mm from another shop they're not going to be exactly the same. They're made within certain tolerances and they may need micro adjustment on your camera body. Um, you know, not always, but they may. I've found that mine do. So they have been micro adjusted, okay? Adjust by lens or adjust all by the same amount. Okay, so mine are adjusted by the lens. So if I go into here, okay, go into the info there, 
we can see the Canon EF35 F2 is on minus 8 adjustment okay and there it is um, for a forward forward focus to adjust for any kind of back focusing it's just to slightly tweak the focus there um, I think the worst lens in terms of adjustment wise is my 50mm I think um, that had the biggest adjustment needed um, but it's still within the adjustment range okay so we'll go back so that's the last okay in um, the autofocus and drive custom function menus if you've got any questions of course please stick them in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe post these in Facebook groups if you think people need help um, or maybe they've asked a question and the, one of the videos can help and I'll by all means link them to it um, I'll be very very grateful and I will see you guys in the next video